live from the KXLY News Center in downtown Spokane. Good morning, Northwest. Working for you. Well, we are going pink for breast cancer awareness this morning. And Dr. Stephanie Moline with Cancer Care Northwest is joining us this morning and answering questions and just talking to us about things we need to be thinking about. And really, we talk about early detection is key. Absolutely. So early detection, man, woman, um, and being able to find something that's different. Mm -hmm. And that's the key. Mammography is not perfect. It's, however, the best screening tool that we have for mm -hmm. detection, detecting deer, uh, uh, differences in the tissue, mm -hmm. um, either by feeling, self-exam, clinical exam, where your doctor feels, you still have the most capacity to notice the difference, but mm -hmm. mammography is way better than self-exam and mm -hmm. being able to detect differences. We were just discussing here, Derek's mom refuses to get a mammogram. Right. Because it's, it's, it's the fear of knowing, but how do you combat that? Because I would rather have the peace of mind and be able to sleep. And it's education. It's always a balance of interest to say, what do people want to know? There are people who don't get any sort of medical care and wait for things to happen. Most of us would like to be more proactive. It is certainly easier to treat a breast cancer you find like this mm -hmm. than one that you could feel. Mm -hmm. And that's been shown over time because when we didn't have screening mammography, the average breast cancer was the size of a golf ball to oh a softball. Gosh. Wow. Stage 2 or stage 3 breast cancer. And now the most common diagnosis will be stage 1 with a greater than 95% cure rate. Ah, and much that is the, that. That's the role of screening. Screening mm -hmm. mammography being the best tool that we've got for being able to detect cancer at the earliest stage we possibly could tell. Okay, a viewer question. Is a mammogram recommended after a bilateral mastectomy? Nope. No. Um, that there are some diagnostic tools that a person who's had a mastectomy, mm -hmm. breast cancer cells could have a possibility to come back in the mm -hmm. skin, but it's on clinical exam and mm -hmm. there are some other techniques, but a mammogram to mm -hmm. squish the normal breast tissue yep. to see what's different is of okay. no help if there's no breast tissue remaining. There you go. Okay. Dr. Moline's going to stick around. If you do have questions for us, we will chat with her on our live stream or you can pop some questions on Facebook. And uh, we're just so thrilled that you're here and getting the month kicked off in a great way. We'll be right, right. back with much more Good Morning Northwest in a moment.